While our cruise ship dozed in Hobart, I spent the day wandering through Mona, a museum of old and new art. An amazing structure, or a mine gallery perhaps, and an eclectic mix on show, or performing, or confronting, or just being. Wandering from the bar, inevitably, down in the bottom level, through the mixed and varied styles of chaise long for dalliance, or relaxation, or just posing, lo, there was an unfenced piano. An upright just asking for casual play, as the chaise longs were asking for casual dalliance. But before my slow reflexes could respond, a youngish passerby had embraced the piano and started playing it. Something four fingers, two hands. Alas, her performance was promptly silenced by an attendant or curator person. But I suggested to the curatorial watchdog that that was a pity. Uh, as she, but as she pointed out, it'd be okay if people could actually play. And at this point, my wife tugged me and I duly left. But I was thinking, what a place and a resonating space for a performance, an improvised performance on a very basic, ordinary, 1950s style parlour piano, even if it was new. Later in the day, a jazz combo rolled up and did some performance and a bit of improvisation, um, a few standards, as jazz combos do. They were okay, but again, think how different and strange an hour of wholly improvised piano would be rolling up through this sandstone chasm with its different and strange uh, surprises and attacks. And especially as so much of what I do is improvisation anyway, or starts as improvisation. But who am I? An improviser needs a calling card. So I thought, let's do one. First as a behind the scenes for my lovely patrons, my Patreon patrons who keep me going. And after, who knows? So here we are. This will be about 20 minutes. 20 minutes duration, because I can't trust the video cameras. Much beyond that. The audio is running live and unfiltered, warts and all, although I'll edit the video a bit to switch between cameras, also to wave this a bit better. And before I start, I'll switch off the mic so as not to shout those words that add that extra spice to performance when something doesn't go right. And thinking in terms of an acoustic performance, my stage piano isn't employing any bells and whistles, just a plain vanilla piano patch.
Thank you.